All right, this is Derek, MTG Lounge. And we're gonna do another sealed here. This is gonna be sealed number three. I got six packs. Let's see if I can actually pull something decent in one of our seals. I feel like I, well, I haven't hit a mythic yet anyway, so. All right, let's see what we get. Pack number one, Nessian Cursor. So three, three for three. It is what it is. Lash of the Whip. Target creature minus four, minus four. Good removal. Uh, Minotaur Skull Cleaver. Three for a two, two with haste when it enters. Plus two, plus so to end a turn. I like that card. See if I can. Uh, chosen by Heliod, two. When it enters, draw a card. Creature gets plus O plus two. I like those. I'll always like drawing cards. Voyages in, you can bounce something and scry one. Staunch hearted warrior, four for a two two with heroic. When you target it, put two plus one counters on it. That could get out of hand quickly. Boon of Erebos, one for an instant. Creature gets plus two plus one on turn. Regenerate it, you lose two life. Yoke Dox, one for a zero four. Blood Toll Harpy. Blood, yeah, Blood Toll Harpy. Uh, two one flyer, when it enters, you both lose a life. Benthic Giant, six for a four five with Hexproof. Peak Eruption. Three, destroy target mountain, deals three damage to their controller. It won't do me no good unless he's playing with mountains. Ordeal of Thassa, two enchant creature. Uh, when they attack three times and get three counters on it, you sack it and draw two cards. Triton Tactics. Up to two target creatures each get, each get plus O plus three. Untap those creatures. At this turn's next end of comp... Int? of combat, tap each creature that was blocked and they don't tap during their next untap step. And my rare is Temple of Deceit. So if I'm going blue-black, that will be helpful. And a golem and an island. Pack number two, Faro's Warden. Four for a one-two tap creature with power three or less. Uh, I don't know about that. Sip of Hemlock. Six. Destroy target creature. They lose two life. Good removal. A Crow and Crusader. One for a 1-1. One, one. When you target it, you get a 1-1 one, one Red Soldier with haste. Decent. Two for a target creature gets plus two, plus two to end a turn. Untap that creature. Good little trick. Plus works with Heroic. Seder Hedonist. Two for a 2-1. Two, Pay a mountain. Sack it. Add three mountains to your mana pool. Read the Bones, I love a lot. It's basically sign of blood for one extra mana because you get to scry two. So you scry two, draw two cards, lose two life. Last Breath, exile target creature with power two or less. Its controller gains four life. Unknown Shores is your mana fixing. Crackling Titan, three for a two, three. Pay a mountain to colorless, sack it, deals two damage to target creature or player. Anvil Rot Raptor, four for a two one with flying and first strike. Centaur Battlemaster, five for a three three with heroic. When you target it, put three plus one counters on it. Erebos's Emissary, four for a three three. Um, discard a creature card and it gets plus two plus two to end a turn. My rare is Whip of Erebos. I got a foil Rage of Perforous. Deals four damage to target creature. It can't be regenerated. Scry one. Put that in that pile. Creatures have lifelink. Pay four and return a creature to the battlefield. And it gains haste. Exile it at the end step. Grey Merchant of Asphodel. 
When it enters the battlefield, each player loses X life. Where X is your devotion to black, you gain that much life. Divine Verdict. Destroy target attacking or blocking creature. That's good removal. Death Bellow Raider. Two for a 2-3. Two, it attacks each turn of Fable. Pay a Swamp and two Colorless and regenerate it. Spark Jolt. One. Deal one damage to target creature player. Scry one. Last Breath again. I've already had that one. Scourge Mark. Enters the battlefield. Draw a card. Chain of creature gets plus one plus zero. Oh. Griptide. Put target creature on top of its owner's library. I like those cards. Nice little tricks. Kind of a time walk of sort. Seder Hedonist again. It's the one where you sack it and get three mountains. Seder Rambler. 2 1 for tra with trample for two. Morgus's Marauder. Winners of the battlefield up to X target creatures. Each gain intimidate and haste until end of turn where X is your devotion to black. That seems like a pretty good card. Horizon Chimera. Four for a three two flash. Flying trample. When you draw a card, you gain a life. That seems pretty good. Put that there. Okay. Insatiable Harpy. Four for a two two flying with lifelink. Titan of Eternal Fire. Six for a five six. Each human you control has pay a mountain tap. Deals one damage to target creature or player. Guess that would depend on how many humans you have. Flame Speaker Adept. Three for a two three. When you scry, it gets plus two plus so on gains first strike, and that's a foil. So Pack four. God's Willing. Target creature gains protection from the color of your choice to end a turn. Scry one. Good, can, good trick to protect something. We got something. Nessian Cursor. Three for a three three. Sedge Scorpion. One for a one one with Death Touch. Scholar of Athreos. Three for the one for a one four. Pay three. Each opponent loses one life. You gain life equal to that. God, I think it's the first time I've actually read that card. Uh, another Seder Rambler, 2-1 with Trample. Observant Alcid. 3 for a 2-2 two, two with Vigilance, where you can bestow it for 5. And Creature gets plus 2, plus 2 in Vigilance. Another Scourge Mark. 2, enters the battlefield, draw a card. Creature gets plus 1, plus 0. Oh. Coastline Chimera, 4 for a 1-5 Flyer. It can block an additional creature this turn for a plains and a colorless. Rage of Perforous. Five deals damage or four damage to target creature. It can't be regenerated. Scry one. Ordeal of Thassa. And it attacks three times, gets three counters. You can sack it and you get two cards. Decorated Griffin. Five for a two three with Flyer. Prevent the next one combat damage that will be dealt to you. I mean, it's always good to deal damage. Save you late game. Fanatic of Mogus. When it enters the battlefield, it deals damage to each opponent equal to your devotion to red. And Temple of Silence. The white and black land. So. And a foil Triton Shore Thief. One for a one two. Pack five. Flesh Mad Steed, two for a two two. When a creature dies, tap it. Cavalry Pegasus, two for a one one flyer. When it attacks, each human attacking gains flying till end of turn. Borderland Minotaur, 4 for a 4, 3. Staunch Hearted Warrior, 4 for a 2, 2. When you target it, gets 2 plus 1 counters. Thassa's Bounty, 6, draw 3 cards. They put 3 cards in their graveyard. Or no, target player. I guess you could do it yourself. Lagana Band, 
Elder. Three for a 3-2. When it enters, if you control an enchantment, you gain three life. Priest of Eros. One for a 1-1. One, one. You sack it, destroy target enchantment. Is that right? Fade into Antiquity. Three, Sorcery, Exile, Target, Enchantment, or Artifact. Return Centaur. Four for a 2-4. When there's a battlefield, target player puts the top four cards in their graveyard. Another Griptide. Put target creature on top of their library. Glare of Heresy. Exile white permanent, that's good if they're running white. It's more of a sideboard card, you know what they're doing. Nemesis of Mortals, six for a five five. It costs one less to cast for each creature in your graveyard. Pace nine, monstrosity five. This ability costs one less to activate for each creature card in your graveyard. Hmm. Dauntless Onslaught. Up to two target creatures each get plus two, plus two to end a turn. And Gift of Immortality. Enchant creature. When it dies, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Return Gift of Immortality to the battlefield. Attach that creature at the beginning of the next end step. So it just keeps it coming back. Last pack. Hope to get something good here. Another God's Willing. Creature gets protection. Scry one. Gray Merchant of Asphodel. That's where they lose life and I gain life. Equal to my devotion to black. Prescient Chimera. Five for a 3-4 flyer. When I cast an instant or sorcery, scry one. I like that. Fleet Feather Sandals. Equip creature as flying in haste. Okay. Traveler's Amulet. Uh, you sack it and search for a basic land. Boulder Fall. Eight for an instant. Deals five damage divided among any number of creatures or players. Traveling Philosopher. Two for a 2-2. Two, -two. Two-Headed Cerberus. Three for a 1-2 with Double Strike. Wheels form. I like this. Chanted creature can't be blocked, and when it attacks, you scry. Silent Artisan. 5 for a 3 5. Another Nemesis of Mortals. Ordeal of Erebos. Uh, when you attack three times and get three counters, you get. Or they discard two cards. Well, you attack and you get a counter, and then when you have three, I guess you could get counters other ways. Ordeal of Nalia, uh, when you get three counters on it, you sack it and you look for two basic lands. Oh, wow. Storm Breath Dragon. Ooh. Flying Haste Protection from White. Seven, Monstrosity three. When it becomes monstrous, deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of cards in that player's hand. Five for a four, four. Uh, that's finishing pretty well. Although it didn't seem like red was very strong, but I'm gonna take a look at these and we will, I'll be right back and we'll put together a deck. All right, I'm back, this is Derek. And uh, we got the Storm Breath Dragon, which is pretty cool. And, uh, other than that, I'm not really, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to splash this dragon. And there's nothing else really in red. I just want to play with it, and it's such a good card. So, we're just going to do that with the red. Now, decision time. In blue... Aquil's form I like. Creature can't be blocked and when it attacks, you scry one. This Chimera is a good card. Cast an instant or sorcery. Scry one, three, four, flyer. Grip Tide I like. Put some on top of the library. Thassa's Bounty is a maybe. Draw three cards and they mill three. 
for six though. It's kind of expensive. Ordeal of Thassa. Draw two cards. I like. Coastline Chimera. Can block an additional creature. One five flyer for four. I don't think so. Another Grip Tide. Crackling Triton. No. Triton Tactics. It's a good, decent little trick. Another Ordeal of Thassa. Benthic Giant. Six for a four five. Hexproofer and Voyages End. So, and then in black, Ordeal of Erebos, I'm not really that crazy about that one because they discard two cards. Grey Merchant of Asphodel, 5 for a 2-4, you gain life and they lose life equal, I don't, I'm not too crazy about that one. 4 for a 2-4, and somebody mills 4, nah. Flesh Max D, 2 for 2-2. Two, two. When something dies, tap it. No. Scourge Mark, when it enters, get a plus 1, plus 0. Oh. Insatiable Harpy. I like that one. 4 for a 2-2 two, two flyer with lifelink. Moggason's Marauder, 3 for a 2-2. Two, two. And you get, uh, creatures get Intimidate and Haste, equal to your Devotion. Another Scourge Mark. Another Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Whip of Erebos, I like. Erebos's Emissary, 4 for a 3-3. Three, three. You can discard a creature and give it plus 2, plus 2. It's okay. Read the Bones I like. Sip a Hemlock and destroy something. Blood Toll Harpy I like. Boon of Erebos is a good... You can regenerate something. And Lash of the Whip is good removal, so... There are playables, I think. Ordeal of Nalia. You get two card, two basic land when it goes off. Nemesis of Mortals. Costs one less for each creature in your graveyard. That's pretty good. Six for a five, five is okay anyway. You can make it monstrous, and the monstrous costs one less too. Fade into Antiquity is a sideboard card. Staunch Hearted Warrior, although in this set here, I mean, there's a pretty good chance they're going to have artifacts or enchantments, but still. Uh, that's a good one. Put two plus counters on it. Sedge Scorpion, one one with Death Touch. That's sort of a removal spell. Three for a three three is okay. And I'm going to use these, I'm thinking about using these Seder Hedonists with the Dragon. And just for mana can also use them to cast these big green creatures. Centaur Battlemaster, 5 for a 3-3. Three, three. When you target it, uh, put 3 plus 1 counters on it. I like that. Savage Surge, 2. Creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and untap it. It's a good little trick. We're good with a Heroic. There's another one where you put 2 plus 1 counters and then another 3 for 3-3. Three, three. No, Traveling Philosopher, God's Willing, pretty good to protect them. Gift of Mortality is really good. Dauntless Onslaught's good. Two creatures get plus two, plus two. Glare of Heresy is a sideboard thing. Three for a three, two, you gain three life. If you have an enchantment, eh. Cavalry Pegasus, two for a one, one flyer. Guess that would only matter if I have humans, really. Decorated Griffin's good prevent damage it's five for a two three and then observant alcyd it's plus two plus two in vigilance if you bestow it it's a two two with vigilance anyway that's good scholar of Ethros, another god's willing last breath actually got two of these exile turret creature power two or less and then divine verdict is good removal Chosen a Heliod. I'm just not going to run white, though. It's not seeing anything that great. So, and then here we got... There's some mana fixing. There's another one where I can search for a land. 
Fleet Feather Sandals. Creature gets flying in haste. I might like playing with that. A uh, bunch of red cards ain't gonna work. Anvil Rot Raptor, no. Horizon Chimera, four for a three two flash. Flyer with trample. I like that. When you draw a card, you gain a life. So. And then Temple of Deceit. Blue black, and then I got the black white, which the black white is not going to help me. But the blue black might. So. I don't know. I feel like. Lash of the Whip. Really didn't get a ton of creatures in there. And then what's in blue? A couple Griptons. Nah. I don't think blue is that strong, really. So, we're not going to be running blue. We're going to be going black and green, so I don't need the Temple of Deceit. The Horizon Chimera is not going to work. So, let's see how many we got here. And then we got the Storm Breath Dragon, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, three, two, three, two, four. And then um let's see. I don't really know how this is going to work, but we're going to go for it. I want to play with these Fleet Feather Sandals. Sounds like it'd be fun. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 25. So, I'm going to get rid of something. Watch it be the sandals. Scourge marks draw me a card. I just like drawing cards. Hmm. We'll get rid of Ordeal of Nalia. Well, no. I feel like with these ones that when you target them, you get three counters on it already. Then you could just sack it and get land. So. I'll actually get rid of the sandals. And that will be my deck. That'll be 16 land. And next time you see me, I will be playing against James. Well, I feel like I need another land, maybe. I got some big stuff. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll try it. Thanks for watching. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.